of Stampers. Uh, welcome back to another Thursday morning Facebook Live. I know I'm a little early. Um, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm going to show you, or actually I'm going to help you find inspiration for your creations uh, by just looking at the items around you. Can't wait to show you what I've come up with today. Anyways, um, before we get started though, uh, who are you and where are you tuning into in from? Also, if this is your first time watching, please put a number one in the comments and that way I can warmly welcome you. While we're waiting for others to join us, um, let me tell you a little bit about who I am. My name's Christina Reese and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Every Thursday morning I come live uh, and share with you how I create cards using card sketches. Um, I have my own card sketchbook that I created. Um, the link to it is in the description below, but it's 30 card sketches with examples. And the reason I use this is, um, you know, uh, Pinterest, uh, you can find a lot of ideas on Pinterest, but there are just way too many or Google images or whatever. And sometimes it's nice just to have your favorite sketches just right next to you on your desk and you can flip through it and um, start working on your creations right away without getting down the rabbit hole of, of, uh, of Pinterest, which can be very dangerous. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's see. Uh, what else? Um, I love card making. I have a card ministry at my church. Uh, we make cards to give to uh, members that um, have lost a loved one or are sick or um, maybe they've done something really amazing and we just want to give them a shout out. Um, also, I can't do all of what I do without my amazing team. So a shout out to Reese's Paper Pieces. Um, I don't see Debbie this morning, but she usually tunes in. So whenever you get here, Debbie, hi. <laughs> Anyways, um, so we're doing card sketch number 19. Let me show you what that is. So here, this is it right here, this card sketch number 19. And what I meant by um, getting inspired by the items around you this morning when I was trying to decide what to wear, I found this shirt and I thought, oh, we have a brand new Daisy stamp. It's called Daisy Lane. Let me pull that out for you so you can see it. So Daisy Lane is a brand new stamp set, and it coordinates with the older one, uh, Daisy Delight. These, both of these daisies, you can use the large daisy punch to punch it out, but we also have a smaller daisy punch um, to go with the smaller daisy on the new Daisy Lane. So these are, um, that like got me some inspiration. Well, then the next thing it was like, well, the shirt's navy and white, you know, a monochrome, uh, very simple. And I was remembering that in our Come Sail Away designer series paper, I have navy and white striped paper. And I was like, ooh, I want to use that. And then my mind just went. And it's like, da 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 da. And I came up with this cute little card. So I'm going to quickly show you how I created it using card sketch number 19. Okay, let me uh, pull the camera down for you so you can watch. There we go, and let's pull it up just a little bit. There we go. All right, so you can see my card sketch right here, and I'm using a Whisper White thick card base. Then, like I said, um, on the Sail Away Come Home paper, we have this navy and white striped paper on the back of these cute little lighthouses. So we're, I cut this at four and a quarter by five and a half. I wanted it to cover the whole front of the card. Usually I do four by five and a quarter and have a little white uh, border, but uh, I decided I wanted the whole card. So let me quickly put that on there. And I'm just using multi-purpose glue. Now, when you're using glue with designer series paper, do not use too much or you'll get a little bit of warping with the paper because of the liquid in the glue. But a little bit uh, will hold it down, but it also uh, won't hurt the paper if you just use a little bit. All right, let me get that on there. The other reason I like glue is because when you're trying to line up something exact, like the exact thing here, um, glue lets you move it around just a little bit before it completely um, sticks. So there's a little forgiveness with that. All right, so now the next part of this sketch, so let me pull this sketch in closer for you again. So on this sketch, 
There we go. Okay, you can see I have a square that's been matted, has a, a piece like a, a different color behind it. I also have this stripe here, um, and then a place for a sentiment here. Now on the card I created last fall, I used the uh, petal palette. I love that stamp set, I'm so sad it retired. Uh, but I just very simply made, uh, did the roses here, stamp the sentiment on a little label and put a ribbon. Also, I don't know if you can see it very well, but can you see where I stamped the, let me turn it sideways so I can get it closer to the camera, there you go. You can see where I stamped on the card base um, to give it some more um, interest. All right, me turn this around so you can see it better. There we go, okay. So we have our card, we have our card base now. The next part, um, this, the square part here, I'm using our stitched rectangles this morning. These are great, um, especially if you're doing um, like nesting or stacking the same size. Um, you just quickly throw the paper in the cutting machine. There you go. Pull these up. You see the cute little stitches on the edge. Love that. So I'm just putting those right there. Now I've pre-cut this piece out. However, we are going to stamp on it, but the stamp will go off, will extend off of it. Um, let me go ahead and do that real quick. We're, like I said, we're using the Daisy Lane. One more time, here's the Daisy Lane stamp set. And I'm taking the leaf stamp, and I, I want my daisy center to be kind of over here in the top corner. So uh, my stem here is just going to kind of come off the side there. All right, and I'm using Night of Navy. Everything is navy and white on this card. Really simple color scheme. And I just ink up my little stamp here. And there we go. Okay. Um, I use my Stampin's chamois here. I just love it for cleaning my stamps. It's like I say, I call it the magic sponge. It just cleans up the stamp. The ink like just magically disappears. I'm not sure how it works, but I love it. So <laughs> that's my Stampin' chamois. All right, I'm just going to place this ink over here to the side. I'm going to be using it again in just a sec. All right, so I have this piece and this piece and they're going together and once again I'm just going to use the liquid glue. I want um, like I said to have that uh, little bit of wiggle room when you're stacking two things and you want them to be perfectly lined up. There we go. If you kind of miss it, you can still move it around for just a sec before it dries. All right, I got that on there. Now this is gonna go on here. However, I do want some Baker's twine behind it. This, um, I'm just gonna do a simple wrap with a tie. Nothing real fancy. And, and I just keep it on the spool. Um, that way I don't waste any. <laughs> I don't need quite that much. Hold on, let me pull some of this back. There we go, that's better. Also, whenever I am tying um, a string and I need someone to hold it for me while I'm tying it, and I don't have anybody, I use clamping tweezers. So if you've not seen this trick, these type of tweezers that stay closed, they can hold your string for you while you're tying. And then just pull it out and adjust the bow the way you want it. Trim off the excess. Oops, there we go. Now, notice how my bow is like straight up and down on the string. One way to kind of adjust it is take the two loops here and then the two tails and pull them like that. And that will kind of give it more of a where your loops are on the top and your tails are on the bottom. There we go. All right, also I'm gonna move this string over because I want it to go um, in the center of where um, 
this card piece is going to go, which is right here. So I want my bow a little higher to the top. This is the other nice thing about just wrapping it and tying it um, and not taping it down. You can adjust it as needed. All right, so that is just going to go right there. I'm going to put this to the side for a minute while I create my daisy. All right, and I'm using the large daisy. And I'm just going to ink it up. And ink it up. Okay, and then clean off my daisy stamp. And I love punches. Instead of the um, the big shot. Okay, and oh, also I forgot meant to remind you. Whenever you're stamping this daisy, the petals on the punch go straight up and down in the center, and you really should try to stamp it that way because you, it won't go in the punch nicely and so then I'm having to trim away this excess that's in the way when I'm trying to get it lined up. So that's another thing to remember. There we go. And the other one, same thing. I see how I, I need it to be lined up but that corner there is blocking it. Oh, I didn't even see all you guys this morning. Hey, Kim, how are you doing, girl? Colleen, good morning, good morning, and Jennifer. Thank you guys for joining me so early this morning. I know, my, like I said, I have a hundred things to do today. Um, one thing is my mother and father both need to always have somebody with them, and my brother usually does that, and my sister, but my mom has a doctor's appointment, so I'm going to go watch my dad while mom's at the doctor's appointment. And he couldn't get an appointment later in the day, so I'm rushing through this, and then I'm going to run to Fort Worth to be with my dad, so that's always fun. All right, now I've got my daisies punched out. Da, 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 da. I need my glue. I need dimensionals, and all right, what else do I need? Oh, hmm. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. So the word sympathy here on the bottom of my card, I thought I punched it out. I guess I did not. Hold on. Let me run it through the, the big shot real quick. Sorry about that. Go. Okay, and sympathy comes from our well said. This is an excellent stamp set to own. So it has all these great sayings for the inside of the card, and then the well written, I mean, the well said um, words. But with that, also have that goes with it the coordinating well written. So um, all of these script words match up with these block letter words and you make uh, really fun combinations and sayings and they've got some great ones and sympathy um, like I said I have a card ministry and so um, I use a lot of the sympathy ones and I'm looking for my dimensional so they are okay and I'm just going to put that there and I'm going to place this daisy on top um, askew so that all the petals You can see all the petals. There we go. Now, one fun thing with the daisy is you can like hold them and like kind of flip them up, kind of make them a little more dimensional. And then what I do is the bottom petals I kind of push down, the top ones I kind of push up. Okay, and then I kind of fix it all again. So then that way you kind of have a little more of a dimensional daisy there. And I'm just going to glue that on there. I don't need another dimensional because I'm going to be popping the, uh, the stitched rectangles up. So, whoops, I said I wasn't going to. Whew. 
Oh, heaven, someone's at my door. Um, just a sec. Uh, give me two seconds, you guys. It's Francine. Okay, you guys, sorry about that. <laughs> Usually I just let someone ring the doorbell, but it's Francine. For those of you who do not know Francine, she's my upline. Y'all want to say hi? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> hey, girl. All right. So um, we've got the daisy on here. We just need to put the dimensionals on here and the sympathy, and we are done. All right. So once again, uh, this card was inspired by the shirt that I decided to wear today and our brand new Daisy Lane stamp set. And like I said, um, it also, there are two punches that go with it. So the, the older large Daisy punch and the newer small Daisy punch. So you want to get that. Um, those are available. Really fun. Very versatile. Daisies are just a very easy very easy uh, to use on any kind of a cards. Here I am a sympathy card, but you could make it a birthday card. You could make it a uh, get well card. You could uh, just thinking of you. The Daisy Lane has great sayings. Uh, smile is the main part. Where's my Daisy Lane? Here it is. See, it says smile on there. The best moments in my life happen with you and it's your time to shine and friend. So those are, those are great sentiments for car, uh, cards. Woo. Now, when you are using the well-written um, framelits for the die, you will need a fine tip glue uh, dispenser. This is what I'm talking about here with a needle uh, nose applicator here, just a teeny tiny, I don't know if you can see that. No, you can't really see it in the camera, but anyways, because you don't want glue everywhere, so um, it's kind of hard to see. There we go. Just a little bit. I just put a couple of dots in all the little places. There we go. And then using my whew, tweezers because my fingers are too fat and they will get glue on them. I just kind of tap it down and then I let it dry. And it doesn't take long to dry our fine tip glue. Um, well, I need to, it keeps popping up. There we go, that and that, there we go. Hold on, okay. Uh, where are my blings? Okay, and the final touch to our card, of course, it's not complete if you don't have some bling, and these are really great, these faceted gems. Just fit right on there. There we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, there we go. And it matches my shirt. Pop up real quick. <laughs> so, so use everything or things around you uh, to help inspire you on what you want to do. Also the card sketches. Uh, this was card sketch number 19. One more time, let me pull up the card sketch and the card for you. There you go, see? <laughs> Very simple, fun card to make. I hope you enjoyed this card this week. Um, once again, oh, Jennifer, Colleen, and um, Kim, thank you guys for watching this morning, and we sure appreciate it. Or we, Francine's still in here, so I keep saying we. <laughs> I sure appreciate it. Hope you will come back next Thursday. Once again, this video will be on YouTube. All of the links to my shop, to the ebook, to my blog. The blog will have the actual dimensions that I used, all the links to the shop for all the supplies, everything you need over in the description. So click on those and go over there. Um, I may not have the blog up in, in, in for a few days, but it will get up there. Um, Y'all have a wonderful, awesome day. Make some cards go out and send them to your family and friends, and we will see you next week. Bye-bye.